Have you been following medical medium for ages and don't feel like you're getting anywhere? Keep watching because I'm going to share with you today five reasons why medical medium doesn't work so that you can stop stalling and start healing. This isn't an attack on medical medium or his teachings. I have great respect for both of those. This is about sharing common roadblocks in medical medium journeys that I've seen in my client work. The first reason medical medium doesn't work is you're overlooking the trigger for the illness. What I found with a lot of the clients I've worked with who've been on medical medium for two plus years is that there was often an event immediately before or within the two year radius of them becoming ill or they had significant trauma or pressure during childhood. And these events are a big reason why they got sick in the first place, but they're also one of the reasons why they can't recover, no matter what protocol they follow. And so when they're supported to clear those events and process them, that's when things start to change. We're talking about accidents, deaths in the family, starting study for the first time, getting married, divorced, having a baby, all these types of events can trigger chronic illness because they come at a time of immense pressure. And the thing is, medical medium even mentions these events as a catalyst, but most of the focus of the books is on things you can buy and things you can take. And that's where a lot of people get stuck because if you had a major event before you got sick, that could literally be keeping your nervous system in fight, flight or freeze. And it will stay there until it's processed. And being stuck in fight, flight or freeze does some really funky things to our bodies. It affects our immune system. It affects how tight our muscles are, our perception of pain. And so medical medium is great. But if you've had an event like this happen to you or you've had trauma from childhood that has left you permanently in that state of fight or flight, it can literally stop medical medium from working. So if you come to medical medium for a solution to a long-term health issue, it might not be the full answer to your problem. I wasn't sure about this top. I'm trying to get a summer vibe because it's raining outside. So let me know if it's a good look for me or not. The second reason medical medium isn't working for you is you're trying to do too many things at once or you're overcomplicating it. When you're dealing with chronic illness, there's a lot of pressure to do everything because we want to get better quickly. But what that does is it just leads to overwhelm and a life that feels like it is just about medical medium. I like to think of medical medium like dressing for winter. So you start with a layer and that layer is the basics, the basic foods, the basic supplements, and just really building the habits. And I heal from CFS, fibromyalgia, and hypothyroid on medical medium just using the basics. That meant finding a way to eat that wasn't too taxing or complicated or expensive and just keeping everything else simple. So medical medium isn't gonna work for you if you quit or you spend all your time feeling stressed and overwhelmed or feeling like you're not doing enough. If you've tried everything to heal and you're still not there, watch my free training, which is gonna take you through the steps you need to take to break free from chronic illness. The third reason medical medium isn't working for you is you're traumatized by the illness or your symptoms or you have so much stress and you don't know how to manage it. Stress that isn't managed in the form of pressures or fears can really interfere with our ability to heal. To heal, our autonomic nervous system needs to spend most of its time in rest and repair. And that means that stress is short-lived in our bodies and we might experience a threat, but we quickly return to a state of calm. But that's not really what happens when you get traumatized by the illness or you've got so much pressure and stress in your life that you just can't manage it. Getting out of the trauma of the illness and learning to manage day-to-day -day stress was one of the best things I did in my recovery. And it meant that medical medium could work. And if you are stuck trying to heal and you've been trying for some time, this could be the reason why you can't move forward. I've worked with a lot of clients for who this is the missing piece of the puzzle. When we tooled them up with coping strategies and helped them deal with the fears that they had around their illness, that is when things started to change and they could spend more time in rest and repair. 
when you spend more time in rest and repair, you get traction in your recovery. I teach all of this and more in my group program, Power to Heal. I'll put the link in the description if you want to find out more. The fourth reason medical medium doesn't work is because you're jumping on trends or you're getting distracted. So medical medium puts out an insane amount of content and at least one book a year. So that can add in a lot more options. It can be tempting to stop what you're doing and add in another cleanse or completely change your direction and do something else. And that's fine if you can manage it and it doesn't feel overwhelming and you've got the basics down. But if you don't, you could just be getting distracted and slowing down your recovery. It can be really tempting to jump on new things and feel like you've got to do it all. I'll tell you from experience that distraction is the enemy of recovery. So for every new thing that you decide to do, ask yourself, is this healing me or is this overwhelming me? It's consistency that heals us, not jumping around all the time. So doing a cleanse, it could be great from time to time, but only if it doesn't feel overwhelming. And you really need to have the basics down first in order to get the most out of them. This is one of the biggest sources of stress for my clients. They feel like the protocol is running their life. Because medical medium is one of those protocols that's a bottomless pit. So unless you've got endless time, endless energy and endless money, it can feel like the worst type of full-time job. Add to an element of pressure where we feel like we have to do all of these different things if we want to heal. And what you'll notice in this video is there's a theme running underneath it which is really st about stress. And that's because rules and structure which this protocol has in abundance they're really irresistible to a perfectionist and perfectionism comes with a lot of pressure. Now, as a card carrying perfectionist, mind you, that's got a lot less over the last few years. I had to really put things into perspective with this protocol in order to get it to work for me. And if you get anything from this video, I want you to remember medical medium is a tool. It's to fit into your life not for you to fit your life into it. This is one of the biggest reasons people quit because it starts to become like really hard work. Ultimately, to heal, you need to be consistent with something and you need to be calm so that your body can spend time in rest and repair and whatever you're doing will then be able to work. Overwhelm is one of the biggest things I see in my medical medium clients. If you're feeling overwhelmed, check out this video next because I'm going to help you break this down. If this video helped you, hit the like button and remember healing is possible. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.